As you know, each week here on Global Exchange, we travel along the Silk Road. That's every Wednesday night. And today, we stop in Turkey, a nation at the crossroads of three continents. Construction plays a key role in the country's economic development, but its geographical advantage is prompting some companies to look abroad, including the Turkish group TAV. It's probably not a brand you heard about. I spoke to the company's CEO. Turkish construction magnate Sani Sener visiting his largest project to date. But it's not in Turkey, it's in Qatar. With its futuristic state-of-the-art design, Doha's new international airport will cost a total of $11 billion and will accommodate 12.5 million passengers annually. But it's also one of the biggest airport projects for Turkey's TAV construction. The $3.3 billion joint venture with Japan's construction giant, Taisei, to build passenger terminals in Doha is one in a growing number of TAV airports springing up around the region. From Macedonia's Alexander the Great Airport to here in the UAE where the company is building the new terminal at Abu Dhabi International Airport, the nine-year-old Turkish conglomerate is making waves throughout the Middle East and Eurasia, a trend that will continue to grow according to the company's chief executive. To be a global company or a regional company, first you have to be very good at your home. So we, we, uh, we really practiced a lot in Turkey and we were very successful in our investments and then we wanted to convey our knowledge to the region. Geographical proximity, cultural commonality and administrative similarity was very important for us because globalization can transfer capital, can transfer knowledge, but globalization cannot transfer cultures. But we often talk about rebuilding the Silk Roads and the rails and in roadways, but it's really the airports today that are establishing Silk Road trade in the 21st century. Uh, actually, airport uh, operating business and airline business is a complementary uh, sector. When we got Tbilisi Airport in uh, Georgia, Turkish Airlines was flying to Tbilisi only three times in a week. Now they are flying 16 times in a week. So this, this synergy between airline, the uh, flag carrier, and the uh, main hub operator is really creating new businesses. Specifically, what do you think uh, gave you the leg up in Abu Dhabi to build the midfield terminal, which is a $5 billion contract with your partners, Arabtech and CCC Construction Group? How did you get the edge to land such a large contract, in your view? When we go to a country, we always know the local power, the importance of the local power. And our partners, Arabtech and CCC, are very powerful in the region, but uh, we are very experienced especially in airport construction uh, when you look at the project it's a huge one i fully agree but we have done uh, qatar airport we are building oman airport we have built cairo airport so we have the experience to finalize the construction on time as you know the turkish government has made syria and libya priority markets in the past but the, the political fortunes have changed dramatically with Syria, and Libya is in a phase of rebuilding. Will this hurt your ability to go into these markets in the future? Uh, I don't think so, because when you look at aviation business, aviation business is a very crisis-resistant business. When we started this business in 2000, you remember there was a devastating earthquake in Turkey in 1999, and then we had Turkish crisis in 2001. Later we had 9-11, you know. And then Afghanistan war, Iraq war, uh, SARS disease, avian flu, ash clouds, Arab Spring. We achieved all kind of external shocks. But we, what we have seen is clear. Still, we achieved the 11.2% compound average growth rate in passenger number. Actually, this is what we see in emerging markets. The growth is mainly in emerging markets. Once again, the CEO of TAV looking at the construction group, uh, the Turkish construction group, going into the emerging markets, uh, particularly in the airline sector. Well, the U.S. president heads out to inspect the damage from Hurricane Sandy. Here he's visiting the Red Cross. Now his campaign has just announced when he'll return to the campaign trail. More on that and how.